July is a fun day for all of us outdoors, but not so much for our furry companions. WDSU anchor Randy Russo has a reason why animal shelters across the country say they see an increase in lost pets during the 4th of July holiday weekend and also throughout the summer. Well, there are so many dogs out there who get scared of really loud noises like when thunder occurs during a thunderstorm or especially fireworks and we're embarking on the 4th of July so that could pose a hazard to some pets out there. So joining us from the LESVCA, Destiny Hammond, we also have Fauna here with us here in the newsroom <laughs> and y'all get a lot of lost pets coming in after the 4th of July holiday. Yeah, like you said, it's those loud bangs, the flashing lights. It really can scare your dog or your cat and they'll usually try and seek out a place where they can hide. Sometimes that place is far away from your house and they end up coming to shelters the day after. So what can you do to prevent your pet from getting lost during this holiday? Well, you want to be proactive. You know, realize that they're probably going to be um, anxious and worried about what's going on. So you want to comfort them as much as possible. Maybe set up a safe place that's kind of away from any family that might be in there. Give them a nice work to eat toy like a Kong stuffed with peanut butter is a favorite that we like to use at the shelter. Um, something that's going to comfort them and kind of distract them from everything that's going on. Now I know my dog get really nervous especially during the thunder and there's not really much I feel like I can do to help them get over that fear but are mm -hmm. there things that people can do pet owners can do to help them overcome that fear of the loud noise in the first place well you kind of want to start to associate things like the loud noises with also positive things so they know whenever there's a thunderstorm yeah it's scary but I know that I'm gonna get an extra special special I know mom's going to stay right next to me for you longer than usual. You know, try and associate as many positive things with something that's normally considered um, bad for your dog. And anything that people should know, you know, when, if losing a pet or finding a pet right around the 4th of July holiday, should they contact you guys? Mm -hmm. Definitely. You want to contact the shelter immediately whenever you lose a pet. Um, post flyers around your neighborhood. Post to Craigslist. There's a ton of lost and found pet sites on, like, Facebook. So you want to try and get your pet's picture out there as much as possible and then check those shelters, check vet offices, um, make sure your microchip information is up to date because if your pet ends up in a vet or an animal shelter, they're going to contact you through whatever information is on that microchip. So you want to make sure it's right. And if you're looking for maybe a pet to take home, we've got Fauna here who's just hanging out in our studio. <laughs> I've got, I mean, we love these ears. Like we've been talking about these ears for the past 10 minutes now. It, they're so hard to resist. She's such a great dog. As you can see, she's very calm and well-mannered for a two-year-old. She already knows sit and some other basic commands um, and she's actually one of our care cadet dogs so she's getting some extra training and socialization and she's actually going to be getting a bath whenever she gets back to the shelter because he's a, a bit stinky. <laughs> but I don't really treated. smell her right now. She's good and she even came when I called her earlier with oh, you yeah. know her, her new name Fauna. So if, if you're wanting to adopt Fauna if you have any inform any uh, if you want to find out anything about the 4th of July holiday maybe if you've lost a pet or if you need any more details uh, you can contact the LESBCA here on their website or through that phone number and uh, Destiny and Fauna, thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us.